Hey, what's up, guys? Brandon Wingfield here, and today I wanted to talk to you all about a movie that I went to go see called Band Aid. So, to give you a little background information about this movie, it's currently out right now in about 30 to 40 theaters, and it's not even available in my city. I just happened to get a screening ticket for the only showing that they had here. But I went to go see this on Wednesday, and I had to kind of sit on it just to really grasp my feelings about this movie and what all I really thought about it. But now that I got that taken care of, I can make a full review for you guys. This movie is directed, produced, written, and stars the same woman, Zoe Lister-Jones. She did an incredible job in all aspects, and especially the acting but we're gonna get more into that later. But let me go ahead and give you a synopsis of the plot at least. So the movie is about a couple who do nothing but argue. They go through some trouble in the past and they also are not where they want to be in life, but they just continuously fight with one another. So in order to combat that, they decide to take all of their arguments, all of their complaints about the other, turn it into songwriting and create a band out of it. And from there, we have our movie. So I got to tell you guys, this movie is a hidden gem. Like I was sitting down on my phone making notes about what I wanted to say about this movie in the review. And the three main words that really came to my mind were natural, real, and awkward. It didn't really blow my mind in a way, but it really made me feel good as I was leaving the theater. Nothing in this movie really felt forced to me. Like nobody didn't try to do anything out of the ordinary or there weren't any events that just felt like it just had to be shoved into the movie. This movie felt like a real window into someone else's life. And the feeling of awkwardness is made no more apparent than by the couple's neighbor, Dave, who was played by Fred Armisen. And He's someone who is, who appears to be one way, but you get a whole different experience with him. I'll put it that way. Bande does a really great job at presenting the fact that we're not always going to be put in situations that make us the most comfortable. We're not going to always say, do, or experience everything that we want to, but that's okay. We're just people just trying to be happy and just trying to do better in our lives. As far as the acting is concerned, I loved it the way it was. I wouldn't have changed anything about it. Zoe Lister-Jones, Adam Pally, Fred, um, Fred Armisen, keep everything the way it is. It's perfect. So guys, I'll say this. Band-Aid is a great film. Please support this any way that you can. It's only in maybe 30 to 40 theaters right now. But the Blu-ray is coming out on September 5th, and I know I'm going to be getting it. It's going to be my first Shout Factory release. So I'm going to put some links down below just so you can either find a theater near to you or if you want to pre-order the Blu-ray, go ahead and do that. But please support this movie. It's worth it. And with that said, that is my review for Band-Aid, guys. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for listening. And I really am trying to work on getting everything together, but you guys are really making this a great experience for me. So thank you to all, all of you. I also did get some news lately that YouTube is now letting people with 100 plus subscribers do live videos from mobile now. At this moment, I am at 96 subscribers right now, and I want to do a live video at while I'm at the screening for the Beguile movie with Nicole Kidman, Kirsten Dunst, and Ellie Fanny. And also, I need to do a live Q&A. So 100 subscribers celebration, I want to make that happen. So if you guys want to help me with that, that'll be great. But thank you guys again. I'm Brandon Wingfield, and I'll see you next time.